Hey y'all, it's me Fergie. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about so much stuff, but um, I can't even remember half the things that I wanted to discuss with you guys. Um, so this is just going to be a miscellaneous rant um, until some things come to my mind. Um, I didn't have a, I've been in a horrible mood. Um, school is the only thing that takes my mind off of it. And so when I got home yesterday, I was in a piss poor mood. When I got home today, I was in a piss poor mood. Um, and it sucks because what I typically do to make myself feel better is either go out to eat, eat ice cream, or fucking shop. And even though I got my income tax money, I've already done enough shopping. Um, I bought a car, which was something that I definitely needed. I know y'all are probably like, Fergie, you just did a video when you first started about how you had purchased a car. Well, I told you guys I fucking hated that car and that car sucked. So I let it get repossessed. Um, actually... I didn't let it. I mean, I would have kept it up until income tax time. What really happened was um, with well, uh, McDonald's not paying me because I almost fucked that up because I still work for this company. And so I'm trying not to, um, you know what? Fuck it. Since T-Mobile did not fucking pay me, um the money that they owed me, what happened was um, my car ended up getting repossessed and they didn't pay me the money that they owed me in time enough for me to be able to get it back. And so with all that going on, it got repossessed and I was just like, I don't fucking care. At this point, I'll ride the bus. I'll do what I need to do to get by until it's tax season because I fucking hated that car. And so right now, um, I have a 08 Galant, which I definitely appreciate. I like the car. When I first saw the new body style of the Galants, I was like, oh, they, you know, everybody's trying to come up. Mitsubishi, Hyundai, Kia, everybody's making cars better these days. So I really like the car. It's silver. Um, and I didn't have any problems with it being filthy. It runs good. Everything, um wasn't clean on the inside but it was a hell of a lot better than the car that i had gotten um from easy credit which was the hyundai um so i just i had them clean it, it what everything that was in it that was filthy was cleanable so you know i didn't have to worry about stains being all in my car on the ceiling and shit like somebody got fucking slaughtered in the back seat um it did look like somebody had like fucking split a gar or whatever and dumped it in the fucking cup holder wasted some juice ate a bread sandwich put the crumbs in there and fucking vomited a little bit in the cup holder in the console but since that was plastic they were able to clean that squeaky clean so i i appreciate that um and yeah there's no dings because this guy that i got the car from he gets cars from auctions so you know he sells them as is and typically the body is kind of fucked up there's nothing wrong with this car nothing it has alloy wheels what more can i ask for you know like the wheels are decent and um it's not uh they're not hubcaps so i'm like yeah that looks nice and um i i really wanted a black car but i thank god for this car because not having a car is horrible i was telling these youngsters at school i was like look we because we were riding the bus together i don't have any shame in my fucking game i do what i do and you know i do it to get by it's life everybody has a low point and so if riding the bus is something that you feel is just beneath you then grow the fuck up because the shit happens all the time so please ignore my phone i'm sorry um but yeah so i was telling these youngsters i was like look keep 
this in mind because I don't want people to make the same mistakes that I have. People who are less responsible than me and people who, you know, don't want uh, to work for things that they have and people that are spoiled. Like, if you ever find yourself in a position to where you don't have something and, you know, we know the major things that we need. We need food, shelter, clothing, and transportation, okay? Now, if if at any given time you don't know which ones come first, I can help you out with that. Because, look, you always are going to need clothes. But clothes don't come before food. So, number one is food. Now, you can't be walking around looking like a damn fool, you know, with no clothes on because your ass probably going to get arrested. But clothes doesn't come second because when I say clothes, I mean something to put on your body um, to keep you from being naked. And so, if you have clothes with holes in them and shit like that, then cool. But the second thing that you want to have is transportation. People think that it's shelter, but it's not. Because if you have transportation, you have shelter. I would so much rather have my own car and sleep in my fucking car, my movable car, to get me from work to the home, to the school. I mean, even if I, I don't have a home because the car is my home, but to get me back and forth to work and school and to take my child, you know, to the doctor, to go get food, you know, like you need a car. You need a car. You need food first because if you don't have food, you're going to fucking die. And then you need a car and then you need shelter. And then that's when you worry about what your clothes look like. Now, of course, the clothing is a necessity. I'm not saying be butt ass naked. That's not what I'm saying. But you can if you, you you obviously got clothes. No motherfucking body does not sit around with nothing on. Like there's no one that I've ever seen who was butt ass naked because they didn't have clothes. Like clothes are a given. You get those from somewhere. Like before you fell off, you had clothes. Now if you fell off and then the clothes got tattered then you still got clothes. They just look like shit. But, so I'm not saying walk your ass around naked. But what I'm saying is decent clothes. Decent clothes. Jackets. Coats. To, to be able to be warm. Socks. And shit like that. Those are all main necessities. And so we're just going to go ahead and say you already have the main things. But as far as being fashionable... That shit is last. And I had the shit twisted because I thought clothes came first for the longest time. Uh, and I, I'm learning that that shit's not even important. So, I have prioritized. And so, yeah. Food comes first. Transportation is next. Then shelter. Like, I could live with my aunt. And, and you know, I don't want to live with her for the rest of my life. And I'm, I'm, I've am i definitely been here longer than I had planned. And this is the first time that this has ever happened to me. But I'm okay with that because now I have transportation. And as long as I have that this car, like, I don't have to sleep here every night, you know? Like, if there's tension between us, I can go. If ever she said, you can't stay here anymore, I would have somewhere to go because my car has a really big back seat. And the seat in the front lets back. So, you know, if we ever had to do it, I live in a, a neighborhood where I could sleep in my car. But luckily, I have family that wouldn't allow that to happen. But, yeah, this is just a miscellaneous rant. I just, I'm just fucking sick of some things. Like, this phone that's ringing, this is somebody I just don't want to talk to. Like, I'm fucking fed up with certain things and the way that shit's going. But you always want to be fed up you always want to get fed up because when you get to the point to where you're fed up things change you change for the better you make adjustments and I, I'm in the point of my life where I'm about to make a lot of fucking adjustments and I'm excited about it but at the same time um it's frustrating and it's new and change is never something that's easy if it's not you know uh what you're used to you know unless the change is like money <laughs> or something like super duper positive. But if it's something that like 
moving forward, moving on, letting things go, getting over a hump, um, being in uncomfortable situations. It's never going to be easy, but you just have to stick it out and know that things are going to eventually work out for the better. But I know this video wasn't about shit. I know it wasn't. It was just about me. And so if you like my channel and you like me as a person, uh, you can appreciate that. And if not, then I definitely understand because who the fuck wants to sit and listen to somebody talk about themselves all the time? And that's why I try not to um, put a damper on these videos with the shit that I'm going through. But thank you guys for watching. Anyway, for those who are watching, I had a lovely Valentine's Day um that i was super duper excited on valentine's day i don't even know why and i wasn't even um in a relationship um or celebrating it with uh someone of the opposite sex but just knowing that i have people around me that love me um and that that embrace me and that are excited when i'm around um makes me feel like valentine's day it was worth made me feel like valentine's day was worth celebrating but i'm t i'm tired of ranting to you guys i do want to come to you guys with some exciting shit i just have to sit and think about because my mind is so full of bullshit other bullshit that i'm worried about and other bullshit that i'm dealing with um and that i'm trying to get through but um I'm gonna I'm gonna sit and contemplate and think of everything that I wanted to show you guys and everything that I wanted to talk to you guys about. So um, I guess I will speak to you guys in the next video. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys later. Oh, my earrings. <laughs>